Hello everyone, welcome to Keyboard Racer Cult, and I am the Guru. Although today's video features the older model Z4, this car is far from ordinary. It houses the N54 engine under its elongated hood, known as the German 2JZ, with immense potential. Of course, it doesn't quite match the 2JZ in terms of absolute potential, as it lacks an iron block and closed deck design. But the N54, being a BMW engine, represents the shift from naturally aspirated to turbocharged engines, and was the first generation of mass-produced turbocharged straight-six engines. It has some overbuilt aspects, like its forged internals straight from the factory, which is the source of its potential. Also, to pursue the linear output characteristic of naturally aspirated engines, it originally had very small twin turbos. Just by swapping these for larger ones and modifying the intake, exhaust, and ECU, you can easily turn it into a 600 horsepower beast, surpassing its successor, the N55. So from a power perspective, the N54 is more akin to a slightly more troublesome and prone to overheating S55. Now let's do a straight line acceleration. At 13 degrees Celsius, the 100 km per hour acceleration time was 5.53 seconds. For a 306 horsepower car, this isn't very fast, mainly due to significant tire slippage. Let's take a look at these tires. V202, with 225 in front and 255 in the rear, providing grip comparable to an 8008R. Everything else is stock. What do you think? Can this car beat a similarly powered Ford Mustang with a lap time of 59.8 seconds? Leave a comment below and hit the like button. Let's head to the track. Go! The Z4's final lap time was 59.19 seconds, placing it in the top 32% of our leaderboard, slightly faster than the Audi S4. This is quite fast for an older car. Welcome to Keyboard Insights. The advantage of the N54 engine is its enormous potential, but it's somewhat offset by its tendency for minor issues. It might require some effort to play around with, but the upside is that maintenance for this car is well established. Enthusiasts have thoroughly explored and understood this engine, and modifications are quite affordable. The N55, the successor to the N54, mainly addressed some of the N54's minor issues. BMW thought the N54 was a bit overdesigned and didn't need so much performance headroom, so they slightly reduced its potential. The second engine's disadvantage is its tendency to overheat easily, especially when modified. Just stepping on the gas can shoot the oil temperature up to 120 degrees. Now, talking about the transmission, there are only three models equipped with the N54 suitable for play. The 1M, 335, and Z4, each with different transmissions. The 1M has a manual, the 335 an automatic, but the fastest in terms of acceleration is the Z4 with its seven-speed dual-clutch transmission. So, in a sense, it's the fastest N54 model in a straight line, which is why many people modify it for drive racing. Its shifting speed is neither fast nor slow, slightly slower than the E92 M3, despite similar hardware. The third aspect is handling. Why don't we see people using the Z4 for track racing or mountain driving? It's because its handling isn't very good, mainly due to two reasons. Its heavy weight of 1600 kilograms and poor body rigidity. It feels sluggish for a sports car, lacking in perceived rigidity. I even think its handling isn't as good as the E92's, even though the E92 is just a sedan. However, the steering feel is quite good, reminiscent of BMW's E-Era, that pure hydraulic power steering feel. So, in summary, the Z4 is a muscle-type sports car with great power potential, a few minor issues, and average handling. 
If you also like track content, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.